What's up everyone, Adam from Cape Crawlers, and today we're installing the brand new titanium comp chassis on the UTB-18 Capra. Welcome back to the channel everybody. Today's video is gonna be on the UTB-18 Capra. This thing's gonna get some love today. It's gonna to get a big upgrade. We've got our hands on the brand new titanium comp chassis from Furitech. This is the Beetle, I think it is. I've been saying Betel, I think that's wrong. I think it's Beetle. I'm gonna say Beetle in this video, correct me if I'm wrong. This is very similar to the Beetle chassis that we did on the TRX 4M just recently, but it's the upgraded bigger version for the Capra. Super excited for this. This is a very cool unit. Again, that excellent titanium finish, very light, very strong, coming in at about 83 grams for the entire chassis kit. It's gonna give us a lot of options for shock placement. It's gonna open up a lot of doors for chassis setup and articulation and suspension tweaking, all that that we really don't have on the stock chassis. We're really quite limited to only, I think it's just two, two shock mounting positions and they're very close together. So we've really got no options on the stock chassis for shock adjustment. So this is gonna be great. We're gonna really see what this thing can do. Combined with the four wheel steering and the brushless setup, this chassis is just going to take this thing to another level. So it's gonna be a cool one. So let's jump in and check out the chassis. We'll see how this thing looks. We'll assemble it and then we'll put it on the rig. All right, let's check this thing out. At the time of this recording, these are on pre-order. This was just announced just a couple days ago as I make this video. So I'm excited to check this out. I love the Capra. It's just so much fun and so capable. I'm really excited to see what it's going to be able to do with this new chassis kit. This is going to be great. So more pieces with this one than the previous Beetle kits that we've had. Let's check this out. Let's uh, see. I can kind of see how this thing's going to work. We have our roof, battery strap, got some hardware. Looks like these are our skids here. Look at the frame, man, that titanium finish. I love that titanium rainbow finish. So light, just like holding nothing, just air. Unreal and strong. I love these kits. These nice aluminum plates for our battery and electronics. Small, small, small. Look at this thing compared to the body that's on it now. Look at that tiny thing, wow. This is gonna shrink this thing down to nothing. It's just going to be rolling set of tires and axles. It's gonna be wild. I'm gonna pause for a minute and just look online to see what this assembled chassis looks like. And then I'm gonna mock this up and then we'll do some comparisons before I get to installing it. Here is the mocked up version right here. So just kind of threw this together. I didn't tighten things up, but just wanted to show you how it looks all assembled. Very, very cool. It is just so small so tiny compared to the cage that's on the capra now kit went together really well so how this works you have your kind of l-shaped tray in the back here and then you have your battery tray in the front with the triangular portion pointing towards the front the side rails go on the inside of the frame rails you have these four bolts here that go through the frame rails through the skid and they thread into these trays, which is nice. So there's no nuts or anything on the backside. They thread into these nice aluminum pieces. Got your cross member in the very front and one in the very back. The roof will go on here. So this is what it looks like all mocked up. Very, very nice looking piece of hardware. Just weighs nothing, even assembled, wild. Let's look at it against the 118 Beetle. As you can see, very, very similar design. It's a little more stubby. It's more compact than the TRX 4M is, but the chassis layout and the overall design, very similar. So I'm gonna get working on this. I'm gonna start tearing the capper apart and getting ready to throw this new chassis on. Let's get after it.
finished product. Look at this thing. Doesn't it look rad? Super mean looking. I love how easy the Capra is to work on. The bigger scales are just so nice. And the Capra makes it really easy to do this modification because you don't have to undo any linkage. These bolts that hold the skid on are just to the skid and then the linkage is purely attached to the skid. So when you pop the previous cage off, it comes off without any issues whatsoever. Very, very quick swap. I think it only took me about 30 minutes to do the whole thing, wiring, everything. So very, very easy swap. Loved it. Great project. I've just kind of mocked up the shocks where I think they should be just based on how it sits. I Wow, look at that thing. I think I could tweak it a little bit to get a little more articulation out of it if I want to, but I really want to get it out and see how it performs. I would rather it sit lower. It's got a nice low stance right now. I'd rather it sit lower and sacrifice some articulation. I can always adjust this later on, but I'm pretty happy with the stance and how it all comes together. It's very sharp. One of the things I wish I had shown you earlier when I was doing the installation, but inside here, the tolerance for this motor against the electronics tray here, it is so small. It's gotta be like near microscopic. It is invisible to the naked eye how close this outrunner is to that tray. The fitment is so precise, it's wild. I did not think it was going to fit. In fact, it was rubbing until I tightened up the chassis bolts on this side and then it pulled the tray off to the side just enough to clear that motor. I cannot believe how close it is. But inside, everything looks great. I am super happy with how everything sits in here. The Fly Sky receiver, fits perfectly on the wider side of this tray. The Lizard Pro right in the back. It looks factory, just beautiful how this thing sits. The only thing that's a little wonky is the battery. I'm not quite sure what to do with the battery here because the factory battery is too wide to fit horizontally. So I can squeeze it in here kind of lengthwise, but then the battery strap doesn't fit. So I'm gonna have to do some sort of, you know, put Velcro on the bottom or something to fasten it down, and it just barely clears the servo. So I am gonna explore other battery options, maybe look at some 3S batteries, if I can get a smaller 3S to fit in here, that might be the way to go. But otherwise, perfect fit. One kind of drawback, if this matters to you or not, it kind of matters to me, is that like similar comp chassis kits, you do sacrifice the lighting hardware. I've got no place to mount my light bar or my rock lights, which is kind of a bummer. And I suppose I could, maybe I could bolt these up to the chassis somewhere, the rock lights if I wanted to, but in the interest of time tonight, I didn't bother. I just unplugged everything. So that is one thing, you know, similar to the TRX 4M, I lost the functionality of my light kit and it's the same thing here. So unless I want to get creative and customize some rock light pods, which I might do, I kind of lost all that. But regardless, let's see, let's fire this thing up. There it is. Very cool, see that Furitech Outrunner is spinning free in there. For everyone to see, it looks so cool. Looks good, man. All right, I'm excited. Next step is we gotta get this thing out on the rocks. Here we go, let's see what this thing can do. Right off the bat, I'm gonna try one of the challenging lines. I run into at this spot all the time. Oh man, it did it. Wow. One of the things I did too, I swapped out the rear housing. I've got an all aluminum rear housing from RC All Wheel Drive. Now it matches the front. I also took all my brass weights off of the back 
to try to keep that weight in the front. I'm really just using the servo, that big reef servo in the back for my weight. Seems to be working really good so far. Another one of my favorite spots is this rock pile here. This is just great for the Capra. I'll try it out. I also turned the voltage down on my servos. I've got to get an external BEC for these reefs or I got to change them out to something smaller. So if you guys got any suggestions for a BEC for this thing, let me know. Seems to be behaving pretty good with the lesser voltage. Having a lot of fun with this thing as it is. I thought I was really going to miss the Capra body. And this has become a lot like the other builds where you modify it so much it's not even a resemblance of its former self. But the performance can't be denied. Losing daylight here. Let's see if I can just hit a couple more lines then we'll wrap it up. I'm just having a lot of fun with this thing as I always do. But this new chassis and setup and everything just opens up more lines, even more than before. So it's always fun, just discovery process here.
was a good climb. I guess that ends that session. It's like both of the bolts came loose. Oh, just one looks like. I lost a bolt and the other one came loose and my whole knuckle fell off. <laughs> I guess that's it for tonight. It was fun though. Oh, this hobby guys, I don't know. I've got spare parts in the Jeep there, but I'm out of daylight. So I'm gonna call it quits with that. Had a ton of fun with the Capra. I'll give you my final thoughts in just a minute. So we got the Capra reassembled, ready to give you my final thoughts here. So what do we think about the titanium comp chassis for the UTV-18? I think this is a good upgrade. You know, shedding that body really helps compact the chassis, concentrates the weight more centered inside the body. And I think that really translated into improved performance in a lot of different areas. The side hilling seemed to be better. The vertical climbing definitely seemed to be improved. You know, I really noticed the performance gains when we went to our crawling spot and a couple of those you know, real steep kind of off cambered lines that I would really struggle with prior. This thing was able to do consistently really easily. So I did notice right off the bat a big leap in performance in those areas. So I'm pretty pumped with how the capper is performing. It was a great performer to begin with, but now I feel like we've just kind of taken another step and really up to the performance. So it's going to be exciting to see what I can get out of it when I start tweaking the shock positions and things like that. I think there's a lot more capabilities to unlock in this thing and it's going to be fun to see what it can do. Typical of these style of chassis, you know, when you put these on, you are going to sacrifice your scale looks, you know, getting rid of the cage. We lose our scale drivers. We lose our light bar, our rock lights, you know, those type of scale accessories aren't really going to work in this type of chassis. So you've got to think about you know, what do you like in your build? Do you like the scale look or are you going strictly for performance? Because if, if, if it's the former, you're going to lose that when you get into this type of chassis. But if it's the latter, I think you're definitely going to be happy with the performance benefits of this thing. But overall, I really like it. I'm a big fan of the Beetle chassis since we put it on the TRX 4M. Just a cool looking chassis and works really well. Fit and finish is great, easy to assemble and big performance gains right off the bat. This does come in two different finishes. You can get the carbon fiber version for $80 or you can get the titanium version like what we have here for $90. I'll put the link in the description down below for these chassis kits. Let me know your thoughts down below. What do you think of the Capro with this new chassis kit? Also, if you've got any recommendations for an external BEC so I can run these big reef servos on here consistently, definitely want to know. That's one thing I want to dive into and probably will be the next upgrade for the Capra so that we can really capitalize on these big monsters front and back. As always, I appreciate you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't done so, and I'll see you in the next video.